Hello everyone, welcome to Pregnancy and Birth Diaries. Today I want to talk about different blood types, specifically about negative RH negative blood type and why it could be dangerous if you have it. So there are four main different types of blood groups, A, B, AB, and O. A has on the red blood cell, it has A antigen and B has B antigen and AB has both A antigen and B antigen, while blood group O has no antigens at all and that is why sometimes it's called blood group zero because there are zero antigens. And um, But what makes it interesting is these blood groups, they um, also have antibodies like blood group A has B antibody and blood group B has A antibody and that's why it's very dangerous to give blood to someone who has like blood group A to give like blood group B then those uh, antibodies they basically attack each other and it's not good and AB has obviously no antibodies but it has like both AB antigens but no antibodies at all and blood group 0 has no antigens but it has antibodies A and B antibodies now this four main blood groups they divide into positive and negative types so there is a protein that is also called like RH rhesus factor and it is an antigen. So if your blood has RH antigen, then you're positive. But if your blood has no RH antigen, then your blood is negative because negative, there isn't any RH factor in your blood. And having RH negative blood is very rare in um, like in US, in UK, in, in most of the parts of the world. It's around 15% of the population has RH negative blood uh, type. But there are certain parts of the world where it reaches 35% of the population. And for example, in Basque country uh, in the north of Spain, um, it is about 35% of the population has RH negative blood um, type. So I just also wanted to quickly mention that this rhesus factor, RH factor, this word comes from rhesus macaque monkey and when they use, when they actually in the lab figure out whether we have this antigen or not, they use rhesus monkey's blood. And that's why, that's how they can figure out if there is RH antigen or not. Okay, it has nothing to do with this particular topic, but I thought it's interesting. Before I got pregnant, I got checked and I got like a card like this and it has my blood type and it says whether I am RH negative or RH positive. It's important to know this because if you are RH negative and your partner is RH positive, then there is a chance that your baby is going to be RH positive as well. If you're RH positive and your partner is RH negative, then your baby, you're going to be fine. Even if your baby is RH negative, you're going to be fine. The only time when you might have a problem is if you're negative and your baby is positive. You know, the baby is going to grow, everything is going to be okay. But during the labor, small amount of RH positive blood uh, from your baby may enter your um, body and that's when your body does not recognize it. It will not understand what that is. It will see it as a foreign substance. Your immune system starts um, producing antibodies to attack that foreign substance. Apparently, giving birth to your first RH positive child, um, you're going to be okay, your baby is going to be okay, but the next time your body now has RH antibodies, like it, it has, uh, your body has antibodies to attack RH positive blood, and that is why um, it's going to be super dangerous uh, to not have like there is a special uh, vaccine immunoglobulin i think um that actually um prevents that and this 
thing is called incompatibility, our age in incompatibility, and because your body is not compatible with the other blood type that you know your baby has. During the newborn stage, there might be problems because now those antibodies um, that you developed are in, in your baby and those antibodies are gonna attack actually your baby's own blood and now might cause problems. I think it's called Sometimes having even your first child might be risky. There are the possibilities that you could have already somehow developed RH antibodies. It could be because of blood transfusion. Maybe you were given the wrong blood type and you have developed the antibody or you know, you never know. So actually while reading about this topic, I came across some very interesting articles. There's an article from Smithsonian Magazine. Here it says that we inherit our blood types, like whether it is whatever group or whatever type, negative or positive, we inherit it from our mother, from our father. And this goes in like 20 million years or even to earlier than that. Another interesting thing is people who ha who are type A more susceptible to smallpox, who have like type B, they, ha they could be affected more by E. coli infections, which is kind of interesting. Apparently, if you have Rh negative blood type, then you have more chances of becoming a US president. Eight of the last 13 presidents had RH negative um, blood type, like including Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush. And then it says statistical probability of the eight of the last 13 presidents of being RH negative. I don't have the answer, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's lower than the chances of winning the lottery. Another one that I really liked is a research article called Sequence Diversity of uh, the RH Blood Group System in Bosques. So uh, as I mentioned before, Bosques have like 35% of their population is RH negative, which is very um, you know, high number compared to other parts of the world. And what's interesting is Bosques also have a different language that doesn't belong to the, the same family of languages around that region. Um, for example, French, Spanish, like neighboring countries, languages, they belong to the same Indo-European family of languages. Or for example, where I come from in Uzbekistan, like we speak Uzbek and all in the same region, like other Kazakh, Tajik, Kyrgyz, other languages, they belong to the same Turkic language family. And it is very common that neighboring countries have common family of languages but Basques for some reason their language is very unique and it's not similar at all to other languages around that region and plus they have this high number of RH negative blood types like it's I think it's very interesting all right I hope this was useful and uh, don't forget to check your blood type and blood group maybe get a card with your name on it for future and uh, I'll see you in my next video Bye.